Hey guys, Chris Haskins here with realestateroundup.com. I want to thank my boy once again, coach and client, Charles Barnhill. Thank you for working with me today, brother. Hey, hey, pleasure's all mine. Yeah, we just got back here where we're looking for a house for Charles. The, the, the kind of property we're looking for today with Charles is a no or low cash down, no bank qualifying, no credit. It means he won't have to turn in his tax returns and do a loan and pray to get a loan from a, from a lender or a bank. And he's not going to put the house in his name, right? Those are the three things that we have to have. We don't want to put the house in our name. And that, that's what I'm going to be covering today. But today's training is, is going to show you how I buy houses without using banks. How do I buy houses without using banks? Now, I put a little twist on that because we're actually going to use the bank, but it's not going to be us going into the bank to talk to them to pray for a loan. So I'm going to put a little twist on that. Okay, before I get, I always like to give you a little bit of philosophy before I get into the meat and the training, but I wanted to talk to you about this phrase here that's in the Star Spangled Banner. It's just unbelievable when I saw Eric Thomas talk about this phrase here, the land of the free. The land of the free. We are all living. We are all living in America or wherever you're living, we're going to say we're going to pray. Hopefully you're not, you're not in a country that doesn't allow you to own real estate. If you're not in a country that doesn't allow you to own real estate, this video is not for you. So you can turn it off right now. But if you're living in a country that you have the opportunity to own real estate, buy and sell real estate on the free market, I want to talk to you about a philosophy that hit me hard. Eric Thomas said it the other day. We live in America, the land of the free, land of the free. You are born free. You're not born into slavery in the United States. At least you don't have to go to work for somebody for free today. Now, many years ago, that wasn't even true for some of us, right? But we're, we're in the land of the free. <clears throat> and I want to stress to you that the only way that this will ever be your home, and I want you to go out there and buy a home so you will have a home, because if you are renting, in some instances, renting is good. I'm not going to say that not everybody needs to rent, because I have rented in my life and I just don't do that now because of where I am in my life. But if you're renting, then I'm going to say that you might not be home. This might not be home because what? This is home of who? The brave. This is only home of the brave. And who are the brave? People that own their house. What's going to happen? And I challenge you, if you are renting and the landlord comes, he says, excuse me, however, I've, chose to, I've chosen to, sold, to sell this property and you have 30 days to vacate. I know you have a lease, but I sold it and now that lease is void or your lease has expired and I'm, I've sold my property or I've got foreclosed on or I just want to move in it myself or I have a cousin that may wants to move in or a family member that wants to move into this house. What is going to happen to you? You must move. You must move. They don't have laws in this country and in most countries that allow the tenant to stay in the property where the other person owns it. So if you don't own your home, I'm going to consider that we want you to be home because it takes bravery to be a homeowner. I was working with a lady a few months back. She was doing a renovation on her property and she asked me to help her manage it. And she it was so overwhelming for her. She just decided not to even buy a house. And I told her that, listen, you know, this stuff, this house buying business is not for the scared. It's just not for, and it's not for everybody. It might not be for you, but if you want to be home where somebody can't come and, hey, let me pull your coattail to something, player. Let me pull your coattail. I need you to go ahead in that 30 days. I need you to roll, okay? If you want to have a home, when I come home, <clears throat> I don't want nobody to mess with me. Close my door, lock the windows, close the blinds. Nobody's gonna be coming to my door knocking. Why? Because I own my own home and I, I, I stress to you, I can't stress enough, I want you to be a homeowner. That's why I do these videos. So America is land of the free, but only home of the brave. All right, so you are the brave. If you're watching this video, you are the brave. So what did I wanted to get into today? How I buy houses without banks. How do I buy houses without banks? Great stuff. I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> the biggest thing that's so important is how we buy properties. We don't use credit. 
I don't want you to put, I, okay. We don't use credit, we don't put, I, number one, we don't use credit to buy houses. And I don't want you to put the house in your name, number two, that we wanna have low cash out of pocket. I don't wanna say no, because you may have some transaction fees that come up, but we wanna say low cash out of pocket. Now, the biggest thing in doing this is gonna be, I'll use the green one, <clears throat> the dot. The dot. I know you're gonna say, Chris, you're crazy. What are you talking about? I remember when Charles was here last time, I said, well, how do I always seem to get great deals? And now you're getting great deals coming by, right? Charles is getting great deals too because he's looking, because he's decided what his dot was. And what is your dot? For me, my dot is the house that I'm looking for. I have made a decision. This is the house that I'm looking for. How is it that I can always find great deals? No matter what, I don't care if the real estate market is going up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, or even sideways. You're always gonna be able to find great deals because of one thing. We don't buy houses based on what we want. We buy houses based on helping other people out of situations. So that's basically how you can do this. <clears throat> So I know what I want. This is the house that I want. The house that I want, that I look for typically, typically, but it, not all the time, has no equity. And I want you to pay close attention because this is exactly how I'm always able to get good deals. All right, so this is the first thing. The house that I want has no equity. Okay, I am showing you that this is, I'm building my situation or the scenario around what I want. So this is the dot that I want. So we're gonna build on top of that, the scenarios and the situations that help me to get there. All right, so the first thing is, typically has no equity. I'm gonna be building my bulls out here. Okay, the next thing is I wanna do low down, low payment, right? We don't wanna be, do a, have a lot Oh, I'm sorry, our payments. We want low monthly payments on our property, right? The last house I bought, the payments were $585. So we want, first thing, to have low to no equity. Second thing is low payments. Oh boy, all right. So I'm moving on to my next situation and what I'm showing you guys is how to hit a bullseye every time. I saw Zig Ziglar do this and it's so pertinent, it's so important when it comes to real estate, real estate too. Because hitting a bullseye every time is gonna be buying the house that you wanna buy, right? Because that's the house that you're looking for. Next, I wanna have a house, I need a seller. In order for me to do this, I need a seller that's motivated, right? Somebody that's motivated to sell me their house. Should have made it smaller, probably. Okay, and the last thing that I want to make sure that we do when we're buying properties is I don't want to put the house in my name, right? We're not going to do that. We don't put houses in our names. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it looks mighty ugly. Doesn't matter though. I don't really care how this looks because all, when all these things comes, when all this comes together, I got me a house. Doesn't matter. Okay, now why don't we want to have a house in our name? Why don't we want to go out there and put a multi six figure asset in our name, right? What crazy person would want to do that? You go out there, you get into a car accident, someone decides to sue you, someone comes after you, some creditor or predator comes after you to say, hey, 
Chris, this guy, he's got some money. He owns a house in his name. Let's come after him. They're going to attach a lien right to that house and then you're done. You, you aren't able to ever sell it again without paying off that creditor or, or predator. Somebody may just decide one day, wake up in the morning and get up, get off, get off, get up on the wrong side of the bed and want to come sue you for whatever reason. You looked at them wrong. America, you know, everybody's so happy in America. I've been sued. So it's, it's not fun because the first thing you have to do is hire an attorney. You got to hire an attorney. I've been there being sued for no reason. And it's, it's no, it's no fun. So if you don't put the house in your name, you don't have to worry about somebody coming after you because if they're going to sue you, sue me for whatever you want. I don't own anything, right? I don't own anything. So how do I hit a bullseye each and every time I'm looking for a house is because I put the bullseye on the board first. I put the bullseye on the board first and then I create my situation or my scenario that's going to surround that bullseye to get me where I want to go. And what I'm telling you is that we don't use banks. So I'm looking for a house that has no or low equity, maybe could have some equity, low payments. It's going to be in halfway decent shape. I'm looking for a motivated seller and we're not going to put the house in our name. So these are the things that I'm looking for before I even go out there. House has no equity. Boom. These are the deals that I'm looking for. Houses with no equity. So that's going to shrink my pool of houses down small, right? So I'm, it, it, it works even better to your advantage when you're not looking for houses from A to Z. When you're looking for houses with low or no equity, it's so easier to go out there and look for those than it does to just look at houses in general. However, if you just look at houses, at all the houses, you will come across houses that have no equity. But if you're looking to do this thing fast and get it jump started in light speed, which is what I want you to do, and you, Charles, we're going to look for houses with no equity. Literally today, we had, we, we had those three leads come in for Charles, and we just started looking for houses for him last week. Last week, these, 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 these sellers came out. And it's, it's truly amazing because these, if you just take the right footsteps or you copy the right person, you can, you can do this business. So this is the, the bull. How do we hit the bullseye? We put the arrow or the dart right in the middle first. Then we create the board, the dart board around what we're looking for. And that's what I want you to do, guys. If you want to buy a house with no cash, no credit, we're looking for houses, no equity, low monthly payments. They're in average, a good condition and a motivated seller. And we don't want to put them in our name, right? Okay. So this has been Chris Haskins with another flip tip for you. We'll see you next time. If you have time, subscribe to my channel below. Oh, fast for this thing. We're looking for 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So subscribe when you get some time. Okay. It's Chris Haskins. See you soon.